Hey guys, I'm Captain Duck and this is the Dwarf Fortress video tutorial 2010 part 8 already. Uh, in this episode, this is more of a bonus episode by the way. But uh, I'll show you hell. Um, in Dwarf Fortress 2010 there's hell now and it's uh, very nasty. And um, so I thought I'd show you this at a very good place to show it with some people to kill. And uh, as if you might have told, these are elves. And there are a ton of elves over here. And that's because I embarked in an elf village. Um, let's show you the map a bit. Here is yeah, where I might my fortress. Going down a few levels. Uh, no. Entrance. Oh, and also I've become a colony of our realm. With this throwaway fortress which I'm going to abandon soon. Oh! Well, sure. I think um, Manuel Calavera should be our leader. Thanks, game. Um, where was I? Yeah, tour. Uh, so top level, uh, my f first food stock and uh, f yeah, workshop level. Oh, shut up, you. Um, another. Uh, some stockpile levels, uh, furniture, storage levels, uh, living quarters. Always making these the same now, the same idea with uh, beds, the dining room, uh, hospital, and a jail. Um, more sleeping rooms, not even finished. Some noble rooms. Uh, here's my giant forge level. Here's some forges. This stuff, this elf village where I embarked, has a lot of metal in the ground. This is all um, magnetite. And there's also tons of um, uh, bituminous coal. And uh, one second. Okay, so uh, here are my forging levels, and um, I'm getting something else too. Uh, where was I? Forging levels. So. Uh, yeah, I'm here in the, the church rock, which is some st type of uh, um, flux stone. And um, uh, in the church, there's a lot of magnetite over here and lignite over here, or bituminous coal. And with that, you can forge whatever you want. And uh, I'm using that. I'm also forging at the mountain time stuff. And uh, I'll show you again where I got that in a second. Uh, also, as you can see, there is another shaft over here. This shaft leads up uh, to here and goes out over here. Here I placed a nice uh, elementine statue of carp. My dwarf just made these. This is just a uh, shell I guess. Or uh, whatever it's called. Um, Anyway, as you can see, this goes into my fortress over here, and uh, yeah, soon this shaft, this is going all the way down to hell, and I don't want the demons loose in my fortress. I want to go have them uh, wreak havoc amongst the damn elves. So I'm closing that path off for now. Soon my uh, guy should close it. Soon. Well, it will happen in time. Um, so, that's, it. that's this fort. Uh, this doesn't go any much deeper than this. But this shaft, the right shaft, goes all the way down. Uh, here's my first level of caves. Nothing really interesting there. Going down some more. Uh, second level of caves. Some water in here. Unfortunately, no uh, easy magma, very high, where somewhere high up. And if I go down, a lot more. A lot more. Oh, maybe I should show this, by the way. There was a downward passage between the caves. Uh, should have been somewhere here. Yeah, this. This, or these two tiles. Our downward passage to another cave. This is what happens naturally sometimes. 
En het uh, is basically the stairs between the caves. Dus je kunt down a few levels. Het uh, looks a bit different, but it goes down and connects to this through this level of caves. Back to the sh all the way down to the bottom of the world. Oh, here are the magma seas. Um, yeah, there's the magma seas, some stuff I dug out. Magma seas go down pretty far. Even have some nasty stuff in them, the like. Like... A magma man, or a fireman. Dangerous stuff, so you don't want this in your fortress, so uh, keep them out. And here is the adamantium. Uh, I've dug out a, riddle, a little around it. Uh, normally, the adamantine or adamantium looks like this, and it uh, goes down into the magma, into the uh, the semi molten rock. Even uh, the semi molten rock is here. That's the yeah the edge of the world basically. Uh, this is unbreakable. There's no way you can pierce through this. Uh, so normally you can't get through hell, but that's what what this adamantine is for. Uh, these adamantine, if you if you pierce them, if you open them, these are like uh, expressways to hell. And um, if you break them, the demons will uh, come out. <laughs> Let's show you first before this happens, um, before I break all hell loose. Um, so I already took the liberty of uh, smoothing this stone. Now I'm going to carve fortifications in it. And there should be uh, a special message when it happens. Uh, first, I'll pause the video until the guy gets here. Okay, there we go. Here is my miner. He's incoming. He will take this smooth rock and carve a fortification in it. And there ought to be uh, a shaft in here. Something special. Oh, come on, miner guy. Oh, not. Huh, maybe I should do this at a level deeper to see the shaft, or it's exactly this four tiles. Um, well, luckily my miner is doing all the work. This happens sometimes, this is like the top level of the adamantium, there's probably nothing in here. Um, so, I need to probably open this level. Um... Uh, pausing the video until I can carve out fortifications here. Here we go. Uh, I've smoothed it and this dwarf and these should open this. Or carve the fortification at least. And looks like there's still no tunnel in this path of adamantine. Um, fuck it, I'm running out of time too. I'm gonna dig in right to the bottom. Fuck it. I'll pause it for the second until something opens. Okay, if this doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Carving a downward stairways over here. And when this is open... Still nothing. Still nothing. This is the most unopened adamantine I've ever seen. Normally there's like a shaft inside the adamantine which goes all the way up. Um, well... Dig on, I guess. This should lead to hell one day. No. Luckily, I've made a few hotkeys. Ah, there is hell. Okay, this is the message you get when you enter hell. You've discovered an eerie cavern. Um. And um, bottomless glowing pits. Yeah, it's a pretty nasty place. Let's uh, let's look at this. Here's an open space, slate cavern floor. Everything in Hell's is made out of slate, and slate is uh, nigh indestructible. Although I've heard you can channel to it, uh, but that wasn't the, the idea of the game, I think, or Toadie's intentions. Anyway, here you can see the shaft finally going up, and it goes all the way to here. So now, now, I've created an opening from hell 
all the way up to the, the Elven Fortress. Let's uh, unpause the game. There's a cat uh, meowing in the back, but I don't think you can hear that. Um, anyway, horrifying screams come from the darkness below. This means the demons have spawned. And that this means normally you're fucked, doomed, and your fortress is over. Um, let's show these demons. Uh, they should be somewhere here in my list. There's a bunting demon, a white haunt, no ghosts, white haunts, bunting demons, wraith even. Oh god, flaming wraith, chickadee monster, chickadee monsters? Seriously? Seriously? A tiring chickadee with external ribs and my mandibles intones. It knows and intones the names of all it encounters. Where's fire? Giant chickadee? <laughs> a scorpion fly. A great race. Uh, steam spirits. And um, as you can see this is already like four pages of demons. Nice. Uh, let's show them in their natural habitat too. Like this. Um, where's the chickadee monster? Ah, oh, there's like a whole bunch of monsters spawned here on top of each other. Each other, looking like stuff. What, like, whatever's. Um, yeah. Now Sonic is <laughs> assaulted by the chickadee monster. Oh no, Sonic! <laughs> The chickadee you saved in all the Sonic games and it's now attacking you. And um, yeah, you saw there, it's walking out. Oh, here I prepared. I made some stonefall traps. He's probably not going to do shit against the demon. And um, yeah, doesn't do shit. Um, so my miners here are doomed. As you can see they're burning up. And now the monsters have only one way to go, upstairs. Uh, let's make sure my miners have nothing to do here anymore. And close my gate. And um, yeah, keep all my civilians inside. I use the burrows menu, so I'm going to do that now. I made an inside burrow too. We stick the civilians to it. No one can go outside anymore. Um, and the demon should slowly walk their way up the shaft to this place. Pausing for a second until something happens. Okay, you should see this. Um, these are all the monsters still in the cave levels. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of them. And this is just a normal first wave spawn from hell. First wave uh, is the keyword here too. Even if you defeat all those, uh, there will be more waves. Yeah. So, hell uh, through the adamantine is really not the place you want to be if you want your fortress to survive. In this case, I want all the elves to die. And um, this works. Okay, this should be coming to the sea uh, surface soon no okay pausing just one more here we go the demons are outside now uh, right in the middle of the elf village let's see the uh, elves uh, try their best against them I think they actually killed some of them oh the game is calculating a lot what's over here uh, I think I killed they killed one of the monsters at least uh, there's still stuff happening over here. What's all this stuff? Let's look. A fire! The demon started a fire. And that will probably eat up this entire forest. Nice. Hmm? Um, that and uh, spawned many more demons. There was... There's an end. Let's see what it's doing to this dwarf, the elf. Uh, it's killing him bad, pretty badly. Also, I'm running out of time. But I know you guys want to see, uh, see more of this onslaught. Um, 
I'm going to make a special video uh, continuing probably after the break. Pausing for now.